what is their righteousness, piety, obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nahmaduhu nusalli ala rasulihi al-kareem amma ba'd. Surah al-Baqarah, ayah number 44. Enjoin your bir, means piety, righteousness. Every act of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. On the people and you forget to practice it. Means you are telling people and you yourself is not practicing it. While you recite the scripture, means Torah. Have you then no sense? Here, condemnation of commanding others, condemning uh, of commanding others to observe righteousness. While you are forgetting yourself, you are ignoring yourself for the righteousness. Like you are telling to others, but you yourself is not implementing and you yourself is ignoring righteousness. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, أَتَامُرُونَ النَّاسَ بِالْبِرِّ وَتَنْسَوْنَ أَنفُسَكُمْ وَأَنْتُمْ تَتْلُونَ الْكِتَابِ Means, أَتَامُرُونَ Like you are ordering. It's from Amr, Annas means people. بِالْبِرْ Here it's talking about piety and righteousness. وَتَنْسَوْنَ is from Nisyan, like you know, forgetting. You are uh, asking to enjoin بِرْ righteousness and every act of obedience towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala towards the people. But what tan sauna? You forget to practice anfusakum, yourself. It's from nafs. While you recite the scripture, Torah, have you then no sense? Wa antum tatlun al-kitab. Here, kitab talking about Torah, not Quran. Have you then no sense? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, how is it that, O people of book, that you command the people to perform al-bir, which encompasses all types of righteousness, yet you forget, uh, forgetting yourself and you do not heed what you call others to. You read Allah's book, Torah, and you know what it promises to those who do not fulfill the Allah's commandment. Afala taakhilun. Have you then no sense? It's from aqal. Of what you are doing to yourself so that you might become aware of your slumber. Restore your sight from blindness. So, Abdul Razak said that Atada commented on Allah's statement Atamurun and Nasa Bilbirri Watan Sauna Anfusakum. Like you are commanding bir, piety and obedience towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the people, but you yourself is not practicing, you, you yourself is forgetting. So he commented on that. He said the children of Israel used to command the people to obey Allah, fear Him and perform all bir, all kind of righteousness. Yet they contradicted these orders. So here Allah is reminding them of this fact. Sudi and Juraid said this ayah, it is about the people of the book. And the hypocrites. They used to command people to pray and fast. However, they did not practice what they commanded others. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminded them of this behavior. So whoever commands people to do righteousness, let him be among the first of them to implement that command. For example, you are commanding to others. If yourself is not doing for example, being a parent, you are telling certain kind of things to do, but you yourself is not doing. Does it work? Does the children obey that? Because actions are louder than words. If you are not doing actually the action, does it affect the same thing here? So Ibn Abbas narrated that, Watan sauna anfusakum, and you forgot yourself means you forget to practice it yourself. And uh, later, وَأَنْتُمْ تَتْلُونَ الْكِتَابَ أَفَلَا تَعْقِلُونَ 
while you recite the scripture means Torah here. Have you then no sense? Taqilun. So here it's mentioned you forbid the people from rejecting the prophethood and the covenant that you have mentioned with you in the Torah. While you yourself have forgotten it, meaning that you have forgotten the covenant that I made with you, that you will accept my messenger. You have breached my covenant, rejected what you know is in my book. So Allah here admonishing the Jews for this behavior and alert them to the wrongs they were uh, perpetrating against themselves by ordering righteousness yet refraining themselves from righteousness. They themselves are not doing it. So here stated that Allah is not criticizing the people of the book for ordering righteousness because enjoining good is a part of the righteousness. It's like an obligation fard for the scholars. When you are saying it's not a normal book, it's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So people of the book, they were asked when you are saying to others, why you are not practicing? practicing to yourself why you are not practicing to yourself the scholar himself required to heed and adhere to it he invites others for instance prophet shoaib al islam said i wish not in contradiction to you to do that which i forbid you I only desire reform to the best of my power and my guidance cannot come except from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In him I trust and to him I repent. Surah number 11 and number 88. So enjoining righteousness and performing righteousness are both required. When you are saying you actually you mean and you do it. So neither category is rendered not necessary by practice of the other. According to the most correct view of the scholars among the Salaf and the Khalaf, Imam Ahmad reported that while uh, I was riding behind Osama, he was asked, why not advise Usman? He said, do you think that if I advise him, I should allow you to hear it? I advise him in secret. I will not start something that I would hate to be first to start. You know, you yourself, you won't be liking if somebody is saying something in front of others. I will not say to a man, you are the best man if he was my leader after what I heard from the messenger of Allah. So they said what he say, he said I heard him say. A man will be brought on the day of resurrection. This is a longer hadith, uh, this is regarding that. A day of resurrection, people are thrown in the fire. His intestines will fall out. He will continue circling, pulling them behind him, just as donkeys goes around the pole. The people of fire will go to that man and ask him, What happened to you? Did you not use to command us to do righteousness? The people are asking, like, you know, you were asking us to do the righteousness and forbid us from committing evil. He will say, Yes, I used to enjoy an righteousness and refrain from performing righteousness and I used to forbid you to perform from evil then he will say while I myself did it I did the thing which was contrary I didn't practice it so hadith was also recorded by al-Bukhari and Muslim so hesitate in advising people because of three ayahs Enjoying bear on the people and you forget to practice it yourself, this one. And also, Surah number 61, Ayah number 2 and 3. Ya ayyuhal lazina amanu lima taquluna ma la taf'alun. Kaburat mahtan in the Allahi an taqulu ma la taf'alun. O you who believe, why do you say that which you do not do? Most hateful thing to Allah is that you say that which you do not do. It means that if you are saying, adhere to it. If you are 
not doing then don't say that here this is the command of allah we are not talking about worldly things we are talking about the sharia we are talking about the command of allah and the sunna so you have to adhere it and allah informed that prophet shuhaib al islam i wish not in contradiction to you to that which i forbid you so he don't want to contradict himself so what shuhaib al islam said shuhaib al islam said i only desire reform to the best of my power so our intention should be islam illa islah ma istata'tu so i desire to reform to the best of my power and my guidance cannot come except from illa billah from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alayhi tawakkaltu wa alayhi unib and he said in him i trust and unto him i repent so here basically talking about uh, the people of book they are commanding others especially the scholars of the people of the book they are commanding for the righteousness to the others but they themselves are forgetting what about the ummah muslima we have to implement on ourselves because the first thing the scholars will be asked are you really practicing it or not if they are not they will be the first to put in the fire so we have to check ourselves whatever we are saying are we implementing or not and sometimes what happens when you start saying things you feel that because it's not a normal thing you are talking about you are talking about allah's command then awe and fear in your heart and make you do it so this requires a good intention good niya and also complete tawakkul on allah subhanahu wa taala because allah going to reward it for whatever the good you are practicing righteousness and expect reward only from allah even though sometimes you are doing their righteousness for for people like you know you are doing good for the uh, like uh, helping out the people in the righteousness but even though you are helping like apparently it looks like you are doing uh, to the people but actually what is your main intention for the sake of allah so our intention should be for the sake of allah may allah guide us all jazakallah khairan kaseera subscribe the channel name is ilm quran for all bayan is another word bayan sar in english and urdu you can look into the playlist jazakallah khairan kaseera